Good morning, I'm First Alert Meteorologist Brittany Rainey. The day is finally here for Eclipse Day, but we do want you to be weather aware this afternoon after the eclipse, and please stay weather aware on Tuesday. We have weather alerts for both of those time frames because we are tracking the potential for disruptive, even life-threatening weather. That's when we issue weather alerts. So right now, it's looking pretty nice out at DFW Airport. We definitely have the high clouds that have moved into the area, but just as Doug was talking about, this is giving us that filtered sunshine throughout the region, even Denton also dealing with some of those high clouds, but you can still see the sunshine behind that, although some areas are dealing with low clouds moving in, especially south of I-20. We are expecting some breaks in those clouds the closer we get to 1 to 2 o'clock. So for some of you, it's going to be pretty good viewing, but we will still have those high clouds in the area. So on first alert future cast, as we get closer to the totality, notice we're getting a little bit of breaks in the cloud cover right around Dallas up towards the McKinney area. But as we get closer to the evening hours, that's when we're going to be tracking thunderstorms moving up from the southeast. So this is right over the Ennis area where we have a lot of visitors in town. Definitely want to have that safe place already picked out if you're going to be out enjoying the eclipse well after the eclipse is over. And then overnight, we'll see more severe thunderstorms likely moving in from the northwest, crossing right off to the east in the metroplex, and then we'll get a little bit of a lull in the activity before yet another round of strong to severe storms moves in after sunrise into the midday hours of Tuesday. So the main threat today, that's hail. We have this hatched area, and whenever we see this hatched area, that means that significant hail is likely. So we're talking about golf ball size hail, maybe even up to the size of softball. So that's two to four inches, definitely severe weather. And then we also have that potential for tornadoes as well. So this is why we want you to plan ahead, already have a sturdy structure picked out in case you do need to seek shelter and you only have a couple of minutes to get there. So if you're not used to dealing with tornadoes, you're going want to get into the interior of a building on the lowest level that you possibly can try and put as many walls between you and the outside and stay away from those windows and if you can get down to a basement that is definitely the best but do not seek cover under an overpass if you are under a tornado warning that's a very dangerous place to be so we've got the hail we've got the tornado risk then we also have a flooding threat as well and this is going to be increasing as we get into tuesday and wednesday especially for our eastern areas where they could pick up close to a about six inches of rain. The rest of the region, we're looking at widespread totals of one to three inches of rain. But where we get training of thunderstorms, we could get closer to four to five inches. So definitely be aware that if you encounter any roadways covered in water, you do not try and drive through it. But that is going to make for some pretty treacherous travel conditions on Tuesday. The system finally will move out on Wednesday. That will be our final round of rain. And then we're back to sunshine and quiet conditions for the weekend.